you guys? It's your kind of a purpose joy. Hey y'all, this is Allison, aka Akila Ensemble. And we have with us here today the lovely Diva Reese. Hello, ladies. Diva, um, if you know, it is Black Business Month, Business Awareness Month, and we wanted to um highlight one of our dear friends. Um, she's amazing. She runs two businesses, three in the three in the working, technically. Mm-hmm. And um, she's been an inspiration really to a lot of people as far as like following her creativity, doing what makes her happy, and mm-hmm. inspiring others along the way. So I'm super duper excited to have her here. Um, uh, Diva, if you don't mind, could you just like let us know what you do? Okay, so I own a bakery with my mother. Um, we do pop-ups. We do the farmer's market circuit. We work out of a commissary and do an online bakery. Um, I also teach paint parties for a living. So I bring joy to people purposely. <laughs> I think you like I did that. Okay. Um, but... I teach people how to paint. We do sip and paint, so I hate that term, but that's what we do. Um, so I travel to different breweries and bars and like local Birmingham area, and we do paint parties. So it's super fun. I love it. Yeah, that's and they're amazing. Always, they're always a really good time. They're right. Good. It's, it's the whole vibe. Right. It's right. the whole vibe. Um, you want to get the next one? Sure. So how did you make the decision that um you wanted to get into business for yourself? It is a very weird story, um, but basically, I just had a conversation with someone that was saying that if you're not living in your purpose, then like, what are you doing it for? And like, you should be doing what you enjoy for a living. Plus, things like going to work with like rainbow hair and like being able to take business meetings and sweatpants are very important to me. <laughs> you cannot do that in a lot of corporate settings, so it's very it's much easier to work for yourself than to have to like conform to be a person that you're not. I love that. I think it's um I think people kind of get a little shy as far as are they shy away from entrepreneurship because they kind of feel like, oh, I have to be this person and do a certain thing. But it I'm I'm finding even personally with with this stuff with purpose joy and stuff yeah. like that. And just, you know, in general, you can be your most authentic self self is it. That is it. That right. is a brand, that's everything. That is your brand. Being, yeah, that's that right. what, that's what's most important. Right, right. I love that you <laughs> I love that. I love that. It's great. It's great. Okay. Um Next question. Um, how did you decide that creativity was a part of your purpose or have you established that creativity is a part of your purpose? Art has always been therapy for me and I feel really crappy when I don't do art and I like sharing the process of creativity with other people because I don't think people realize how therapeutic it can be. Not only that, but the pride that you instill in someone from starting from scratch to like creating something and then just like Trusting the process all the way through, like, is just something that brings me happiness. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I that love is it. awesome. That is nice. Um, I love that that you have passion behind what you do and you enjoy seeing people. And that is important <laughs> owning a business because it is extremely stressful, and I feel like a lot of people own businesses for money. But when money is not coming and things are really hard, if you don't have that passion to fuel you, then it'll be even more hard. Right. Right. So how do you manage it all? I don't. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> it's stressful. No, it's good. It's just about finding a balance. Um, I'm a very creative person and not the most organized person. So trying to stick to good habits like I have a giant calendar in front of me just to remind me of things that I need to do and like things that I said that I was going to do I live by my google calendar but it is difficult but doable it is manageable I love it I love it so much I remember one time I talked to Diva she had a paint party like every day of the week and then on the weekends she was like I'm booked till next month I was like how the month just started I don't understand I forgot I had a paint party this weekend and it was for 40 people like a private party and i let i work like a one shift a week at a restaurant here and my boss was like can i schedule you on saturday and i was like i think i have to do something on saturday but it should be fine and then he texted me it was like why are you late and i just like sent him a picture of like 40 women with like paintings in their hands he was just like oh you did have something <laughs> i was like i'm sorry y'all <laughs> 
Right. <laughs> At least you made it to the party. Right. Show and then True. You had, we're prepared right. after. Because <laughs> that could have been way more. Right. Intense. 40 way people would be like, oh, so where is our paint? Where does that? Where is I our literally party? woke up at like Friday and was like, mm, I have a paint party tomorrow. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> that was this weekend. So. <laughs> I took this week off. I needed like, I needed a mental break to reset for September. Oh, see, and that's the thing. That's, that's like another thing about being able to. And I was that was my, my next question yeah. was about self care. But it's like when you're doing your own thing, you don't have to have that concern of, okay, I have to go to work. It's like if you need to take a break, you can take a break. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, you're well, the only to- bad thing about it is it's constant because when you work for yourself, like when you work for someone else, you got hours where you clock in or you clock out. Most entrepreneurs don't clock in, don't clock out. Mm-hmm. Like my phone constantly things with emails and I have to like stop myself from feeling obligated to answer people at like 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, why are y'all thinking about what we're painting at 11 <laughs> o'clock at night? <laughs> I just have to like think like, hey, I'm not at work. So I'll just like message this person in the morning. So that is self-care for me is ignoring emails and text messages. <laughs> very important. Right, very important. She's like, I'm gonna set a whole boundary. Do not disturb is my best friend. Do not disturb, do not disturb. <laughs> We were cool. We were cool. That's cute. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, Ooh. Next question. Yeah. Is oh, go ahead. Yeah. Um. So, what advice would you give someone who wants to start their own business? You know. Okay. So a lot of people will tell you to quit your job. I say to work your day job and your daydream at the same time. Save money. <laughs> don't rush into things. A lot of planning will go into your business. Um, but at a certain point, you have to stop planning and just do it. Things will come. You'll learn things with the experience. So don't be scared to start a business. Um, but just go in prepared. Do research. Spend your time like try to figure out who is doing what you want to do and how they're doing it. Not so much so copying them, but just kind of getting your own research, finding things from people that you like or that you don't like, and then just make it your own and do it with happiness and joy and treat people well while you do it because people almost never remember the exact thing that you did, but they do remember how you made them feel. So I have a lot of return customers because they have fun doing the paint party. It's not that they're necessarily creative, it's just the fact that they felt good while doing it. So that'll come with time. Yes. That is good. I love it. Yay. All the gym. Like, yeah. Like in a nutshell. In a yeah, nutshell. She's like, I like what you said about you can do your day job and do your, your daydream. Or, you know, like, you know, do your job and keep that going, but still work on your being an entrepreneur. Still keep that going. But at some point, you know. You gotta commit to your 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 entrepreneurship, your business. And I was gonna say, I always suggest quitting your job if it's getting in the way of you being able to live your dreams. Like if it's to the point where it's like you don't have time to work on what you want, maybe it's time to do something part time or like change career paths. But like. Money is real. <laughs> yeah. Like, all this is paid. so much more expensive than people think that they are. So don't just like willy nilly just be like, I'm going to quit my job in a month. I'm going to be a millionaire because chances are it's going to be real hard unless you come from a lot of millionaires and you have a platform of like 12 million people following. <laughs> you told me, um, it was one time you told me about um, how uh, it's romanticized mm. and you were like telling me how. People don't even like it's super popular and things like that to the mm-hmm. point where like they don't really understand the full sacrifice that it takes to make that transition because things like that are difficult. And I think um, the most beautiful thing you said is that you can do both. You can mm-hmm. do your day job and daydream at the same time. In the sense that, like you can keep your security. You know, you don't have to give it all up at one time. And then there's no timeline that exists that's going to say your dream is going to disappear if you don't jump on it. That's yeah. Good. There's no timeline timeline and not to compete with anyone. I like follow all the like motivational blogs that are like, quit your job, start that, whatever. (laughs) And I'm just like, don't do that. (laughs) It's a lot of sacrifice. It's very hard. There have been times where I'm like, I've had no orders. And then there's times where I make $2,000 in a week. I'd be like crying every day. God just be like, girl, shut up. <laughs> I can see you some money. <laughs> like, it's going to be okay. But it is hard. It is very, very difficult. Like, 
my boyfriend helps me a lot with like certain stuff. And then like, there'll be certain days where I'm like loading stuff in and out my car and people are just like, oh, she teach pay parties. But like, I put my paints on the scale the other day, they're 65 pounds. And I'm like, this is hard. Like it is hard labor. But people don't even like realize like all the work that goes into it. Cause they'll be like, oh, she made so much money. But I'm like, I give Michael's a bag every day. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like what I spent on canvas at Michael's. So like I said, you don't have to like jump all the way in, but I do suggest like being focused and dedicated towards it, no matter how much time you spend towards it. If you have five hours to dedicate to starting a business instead of watching Netflix, I suggest you do that than spending your free time doing stuff that is not productive to what you want to do in life. All right, then. Yes, it's a word, Diva. It's a word. It's it is. Word. And I give that advice that I watch like three hours of TikTok at night. But only what's up though. Never mind. Never mind. Like, this is my reward. I can just watch people do stuff I cannot. <laughs> oh, come on, Craig. <laughs> All right. So, um, we're coming to a close. Yes. Sweet we, are, we are. I appreciate you so much for doing this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you more. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, where can people find you? Where can people go to a paint party? Yes. Where can people be a part of your, your social uh, media uh, handles? All that. All that. All that. Yes. If you follow me on Instagram at paintnix, it is P-A-I-N-T-N-I-C-S. That was very difficult to spell <laughs> out and make sure I was doing it right. But it will tell you what we are painting every week and where we are painting. You click the link in the bio, you're able to purchase tickets for a paint party. And then Encore Dessert Bar on Instagram is where you can find me and my mom's bakery. And then we also post where we're doing pop-ups. Um, the link to our website is in our bio too if you want cakes delivered to your door. Oh, they're good. They're so good. They're like, through. they're great. <laughs> My but, best friend um, placed like the biggest order today. I was like, are you having a bad week? Like I would have just brought you cakes. <laughs> five. I need five of the cakes. <laughs> <laughs> five. I'm just kidding. But okay. Thank you, Diva. So, 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 yes. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take anything more that. Oh, um, I don't have a net thing, but it was good. It was good. You might just want to like, to start doing more business stuff. Like, do, whatever, just do whatever you want to do. Life is short. Stop doing stuff you hate. Right. <laughs> I'm going to quit my job now. I'm, <laughs> I'm just playing y'all. I love Wallow. I love Wallow and Yellow Bird. Y'all are great. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you so much, Diva. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.